Now, yeah, welcome, and I uh, just want to go through a quick example of debugging Blueprint code in Unreal Engine. Um, so we're going to run the example I was using with the C++ code. Uh, it's doing cover generation. And uh, we stick a breakpoint. So F9 is the key for adding breakpoints. You'll notice that F9 was the key for adding breakpoints in Visual Studio as well. Um, that's because, you know, the people who write the code in Visual Studio also seem to do a bit of break, um, Blueprint code every now and then. So what things can we do in Blueprint um, for debugging? Well, one of them is to look at the inputs of our nodes. So hover over the item and look at, see whether they're valid or not. So some of them obviously weren't there. Another thing that you might not have looked at is the debug window so the debug window is um is a window um that you can do single stepping you know it's basically a copy of this kind of stuff but what it's also got is an execution trace so We can see like a stack of um, a stack of where the blueprint code's actually working. So let's just step once. See what it's doing? You can see the history of the calls. We can go back to them. We can see what's calling where. And we can have a look at the inputs and follow it to the next one so the input of that is material instance dynamic which is what we expect so that's the the sort of equivalent of doing um the same kind of thing in um in the c plus plus code as in blueprint you can view the calls what we call the call stack in visual studio is obviously called the execution trace here and that's useful if you want to be able to see where something came from so window let's see if it still does the debug window here execution trace okay so it's telling us what objects actually let's stick it down here actually no let's stick it over here It's not going to tick that, so let's go to the next thing. Go to the next tick, next tick, next tick. It's just ticking all of the bots basically right now. So you can see the trace uh, history of like all of the blueprint, blueprint, blueprint um, functions that are being called. It's actually really kind of useful to be able to see that. So we can go. Uh, some of them don't seem to... Uh, okay. Oh dear. Well, it doesn't actually go properly to their um, call, but whatever. Bit of a bugger, isn't it? Oh well. But at least you can see what's being traced, right? So we can actually look at the, the execution stack and look at all of these different things. I wonder if some of that's not actually correct. But anyway. So yeah, do more of that kind of thing. Um, you've got to be able to debug. It's part of programming. You know, like it... it Think of it as sort of a puzzle that you have to solve every now and then. You know, there's some things that you have to do um, to really understand what's going on in your code is you have to step through it and you have to look at the variables as they're changing and you have to be able to sort of say, well, is that logic correct? Um, are those variables what I expected? And maybe you need to set up test cases. Um, which, you know, give you specific values and see if the functions actually do what you expect they do with those variables. 
So there you go. Just thought I'd point out this execution trace thing. It's actually generally pretty useful if you're trying to figure out where something's going wrong in your blueprint. Um, so I shall leave you with that. See you on the next one.